Hi, my name is Dr. M, and I'm gonna take you through the menstrual cycle. Are you ready? Let's get started. Menstruation, or getting your period, is part of the process of puberty and starts between the ages of eight and 14. Most, but not all, menstruators are girls and women, and not all girls and women menstruate. Anyone with a uterus can have a menstrual cycle. Menstruation is a normal sign of a developing body caused by interactions between several different organs through chemical signals called hormones, which those organs send to one another. This is Mia. Hi, Dr. M. Let's imagine that all of these organs live in a building together. Hi, friends. Hi. Hey. They live in separate rooms, but can still communicate and interact with each other. This is pituitary the organ in the human brain responsible for the hormones that moderate the monthly menstrual cycle. Look at that. Looks like today's the day. It's time to send out the monthly hormone signals to the ovaries. I'll call Ova with my hormone phone. Hey Ova, it's your turn to prepare this month's egg. Those blue signals are hormones. Got it, pituitary. Hey Ovi. It's my turn this month to prepare the eggs. Thank you, Ova. Good luck. A menstruator is born with all their eggs already in the ovaries. For each menstrual cycle, a few of those eggs are chosen to start developing. Ova picks up the phone and calls uterus. Hey, uterus, I'm preparing the eggs. I'll have one ready for you in a couple weeks. Great, I'll start thickening the endometrial lining. Ova starts prepping the eggs and puts them in pouches. They get bigger and more developed over time. Uterus receives hormones and its lining thickens. Right before its release, the egg happens to be the biggest cell in the human body. Looks like this egg is ready to go. Hey, Fallopia. I wonder which one of us is going to receive the egg this month. Well, Fallopio, I got the egg last month, so it's probably going to be you this month. Hey, Fallopio. Catch. Here it comes now. I'll get this egg over to Uterus. I'll call Uterus now and let them know the egg is on its way. Hey Uterus, the egg should get to you in a few days. Good to know. I'll make sure I'm prepared. My endometrial lining is pretty thick and I'll keep myself nice and strong. By the way, how many eggs do we have left up there? Thousands, plenty for another 25 years. Great, my endometrial lining is thick, strong and ready to go. The Uterus hangs up the phone Hormone signals stop coming from the ovary. I gotta go, the egg is here. Hey there, uterus. Here's this month's egg. Got it. Thanks for your help. The uterus contracts and squeezes, and the lining begins to move out. The egg is carried out with the lining. Out goes the egg and the endometrial lining along with all its blood and nutrients. It usually takes a few days to clear all of that out of the body. This cycle will continue for years throughout a menstruator's lifetime until eventually most of the eggs are used. No two bodies are alike, so this process is different for different people. It might last longer or be shorter or occur more or less frequently than once a month and it can even change over time. Many different personal factors have an impact on a person's period, including genetics, behaviors such as sleep, physical activity, and diet. Menstruation can even be impacted by the chemicals in our environment. In the air we breathe, in the food we eat, in the water we drink and bathe in, in the makeup we use, 
and even in the soap that we clean with. These chemicals can confuse signals in the body. Every menstruator is unique, and so is every menstrual cycle. See? Isn't that cool? Thanks for watching.